What's happening, everybody? So, let's talk cigars. I'm just up here at the garage on this beautiful northern New Jersey day. I got a, uh, a this is a, uh, damn, I forgot it. It's a Perdomo. Um, I think it's a sun-grown uh, Perdomo, which I, I kind of, I'm a Maduro uh, kind of guy. I like medium to full-bodied Maduro cigars. I'm not picky. I'm not a, excuse me, not like a, a brand picky kind of guy. Like I have to have one brand cigar. I'm more of a variety kind of guy. I like uh, getting all kinds of different uh, like brands and flavors, fla like medium body uh, to full body Maduro cigars. But I like multiple brands though. I don't, I'm not really particular in one brand like Perdomo or, or Cohiba or anything like that. I like multiple brands. I like trying a whole bunch of different cigars, you know. There's so many cigars. I mean, obviously, you guys know. There's so many different label cigars. And uh, I just like trying all different uh, flavors. Um, I had a, a El Toro Fuentes uh, cigar. I'm not exactly sure which one it was. It was a good cigar. I liked it a, a lot. Uh, it, was a, it was a Maduro, but... It was a medium body Maduro, and it was a really a lot of flavor to it, but that's not what I'm smoking now. I smoked it uh, last weekend. I did the Arturo Fuentes last weekend. I'm going to, uh, Saturday I'm going to a local uh, cigar shop slash lounge tomorrow, which is Saturday, uh, the Saturday the 14th, and uh, I want to try a Cohiba Black, the Cohiba Black. It's a... Uh, I think a medium-bodied uh, uh, Maduro cigar with a dark, uh, broad beef, broad, uh, I forget the name of that, uh, the dark wrappers that they have. Uh, forgive me, I'm just not sure the, the name of the outside, broad leaf wrapper, I think it is, right? Um, but I want to try that tomorrow for the first time. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Maduro cigar guy. I don't like Connecticut wrappers. I don't like anything less than like a Maduro. I just don't like the flavor. I like the flavor that a Maduro, you get from a Maduro cigar. Especially a medium body to full bodied cigar. Yeah, especially a full bodied cigar. I, I get a buzz. If I smoke a full body uh, Maduro cigar, I get a buzz. I get a buzz almost on the verge of getting high. I don't know. It's it's kind of funny. I don't know if you can get high smoking a cigar or not. But I, I'm probably pretty close to doing that if, if it's all possible. Because I get a real good buzz smoking like a full-bodied uh, Maduro cigar. I get such a good buzz that I almost feel like I'm high, you know? Um, I'm sure there, I guess there's some some reason for that I think it's I, I'm not sure the uh, exact technical term of of why you get that that buzz um, I'm sure guys out there will leave a comment on exactly why that science of why you get a buzz from smoking a cigar because I'm not really too sure why maybe it draws like this sugar out of here it, it draws something out of you I don't know leave a comment on this video if you know exactly why do you get a buzz uh, smoking like a medium to full body Maduro cigar. Um, it's kind of a weird feeling. Um, I've never, I'm not into drugs or anything like that. I've never, never smoked weed. I never, I don't even, I never smoked cigarettes, never smoked weed. I never did anything hardcore drug, never did anything like that. I've never, never been high in my life. But if smoking a full bodied cigar gets you high, I, I'm probably guilty of it. <laughs> um, but. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm kind of new with this cigar smoking thing. I don't know if there's any 
uh, new guys out there smoking, just getting into like smoking cigars, but I enjoy it a lot. I've always enjoyed cigars. I've always liked cigars, but I never got the opportunity. Never had that like courage, I guess, if you want to put it that way, to actually like, you know, go through the whole process and start smoking and all that stuff. Um, but I, I, I enjoy it a lot. It's, it's really relaxing and uh, soothing. And it's a good way to uh, kind of de-stress you know, I, I like it a lot. I really do. Like I said, I, I enjoy uh, a wide variety of brands. I'm not brand particular. Like, there's one brand that I like won't that I'll smoke, and I won't smoke anything else. Like, I like all kinds of brands. I'll try. I'll try any brand as long as it's a Maduro, medium-bodied Maduro. I don't care what brand it is. I'll smoke it. <laughs> you know. And I've, I've had a few cheaper, my budget, I'm on a budget, probably like about 75% of the world, I'm, I'm on a budget, I can't spend 30, 25, 30 dollars on a buying cigars, you know, for per stick, um, or like a hundred and something dollars on a box, I just, I buy them by the stick, you know, I'll pay up to about 15 bucks, between 10 and 15 bucks is my kind of sweet spot, you know. And I've, I've had a lot of cigars in that spot that were really good cigars, like cheaper cigars, but really good smoking cigars. There's a lot out there. Um, just do your research with that, because there's a lot of cheaper cigars that are really good out there. And I've, I've, had, I've had a few. I've, I've had a few. Um, yeah, the premium ones are good, the you know, better product, higher price tag um, if you can afford it man god bless you you know that's the way to go but I, my budget just won't make me uh won't, won't allow me to buy like a 50 dollar you know stick and uh or a two three hundred dollar box of cigars you know i'm sure they're they smoke extremely well and bursting with flavor but i'll stick to my my cheapies <laughs> my good cheapies Now this this is uh, like I said a uh, Perdomo. I like Perdomo. I like their uh, Maduro. All the Maduros. They have a, quite a few Maduro uh, ones, and I just I like the Maduro uh, Perdomos. They're they're a good smoking cigar. A lot of flavor. This is a Sun Grown, tenth um, anniversary Sun Grown uh, Perdomo. I think it was a uh, five and a half by fifty size. Which is a good size. I like Churchill's too. Man, you can smoke a Churchill like a, a seven by fifty or even larger, seven by fifty-four. You, it, Churchill's, man, you, you you need like two hours to smoke that cigar if you have the time. Um, and it's it's the way to go because you. I mean, I look at it this way: if you smoke a, a Churchill like a bigger, longer cigar, you can enjoy the cigar that much longer, you know. But uh, every day um, size, I think a five and a half five to five and a half. I think it's a really good size. Um, you know, maybe like an hour or so you can burn through uh, and smoke like a five and a half cigar, like about an hour or so. You know, it's an hour to relax and kick back and just enjoy the cigar. You know, it's, it's really not about the time it takes to smoke it. It's about enjoying the cigar, you know. I'm just kind of putting a time onto that. Um, if it's possible, you know, but again, cigar smoking is just about enjoying the cigar, not like, oh, how much time do I have, you know? And I just, I, I like the flavors, man, that you just, that you get from it, you know? It's just, it's amazing. So, anyway. you guys are having a uh, a good weekend and uh, see you guys on the next one